Hello everyone, it is me, Frank Javsi, and in this video tutorial I will show you how to make pretentious alternative experimental music faster than the length of the actual song in Audacity. First off, what is ambient drone music? Ambient music was invented by Brian Eno sometime in the early 70s. This special kind of music is often played in the background to set the mood or tone. It is simple music that is quite inconspicuous in nature, but also seeks the listener's attention by being too inconspicuous if you know what I mean. Like when someone updates their social media status as sai dot 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 to get other people's attention. Drone music, on the other hand, is music in which one long note is sustained throughout the entire piece. Drones are also those cute flying little robots that will kill us all one day when they achieve enough intelligence to round us all up into a human zoo. To make ambient drone music in Audacity, you're gonna need to use the feature known as Import Raw Data. Select File, then select Import, then select raw data. That's how I like my data, raw. Now in Windows, locate system 32. Now delete that. I'm j I'm j I'm j I'm j I'm, j I'm, j I'm just fucking joking with you. Now you can select any type of file on your computer and Audacity will turn it into audio data. Most text, pictures, and video files will be turned into white noise, which is just random noise generated on a sound spectrum. However, if you open up an executable file, it will create vast and varied sounds. In this tutorial, I will be selecting MS Paint because that sounds vaporwave as fuck, mate. For encoding, 16-bit wave samples are usually the standard. For byte order, I'm gonna choose big because I like it big. For channels, I will select stereo because no one wants to listen to mono. What do you think this is for? The club? Now we have a sound file that looks and sounds like this. Wow. So there's some white noise and some tone. Let's get rid of the white noise and focus on the tone, trimming away the fat of this juicy beat. Perfect. Now we got our song. Now here is where all my 69,420 hours of audio engineering and production training comes handy. You see this man? This wonderful tuft of man is Paul Noska, and in 2006 he designed extreme audio stretching and smoothing software known as Paul Stretch. With this software, a new genre of music was born on YouTube called 800 Times, in which people would stretch regular audio 800 times to create a smooth pitch synced version of audio that sounded like whales writing aesthetic down a beautiful waterfall. The new version of Audacity comes pre-packaged with Paul Stretch under effects. So select this and stretch the audio sample and have the smooth resolution be 0.1 seconds to make it sound really fucking smooth. But we're not done yet. Now we need to make this drone sample ambient by adding some reverb and delay. Just press OK. I will go into great detail on reverb and delay in future episodes. Now we must master this track. Mastering is a lot like masturbating, it takes about 10 years. I've learned the simplest way to master a track is to normalize the audio spectrum and select a limit of 0.01 decibels to give it that extra loudness. Now we have a copy of a perfectly dynamic ambient drone music. Now all we gotta do is press play and become a part of the void. LOL that was fucking boring. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to download Audacity and experiment with your own glitches, the links are in the description. If you make something cool, upload it to SoundCloud, share it with me on Facebook or Twitter. I also want to thank everyone that purchased my mixtapes. The perk time is now over, so I will be sending you your perks via email before the month is up. Remember to create exponentially. Love, Frank Javsi.